A multidisciplinary group such as the Society for Brain Mapping and Therapeutics is critical to the advancements that will be needed in both diagnostics and care of uh, people with brain injury. Naturally, there's a variety of a diversity of technologies applied to understanding the brain, uh, whether that's imaging, which is obviously extremely important, but um, also all the other physical technologies that can, can be used to monitor, let's say, disease course for some patient, like to say I have Parkinson's. So I think having an environment like SBMT for being able to fuse those information together is, is very important. Between us as, a, as, a, as surgeons and as researchers, it's very important uh, to have meetings. We exchange information, uh, we try to renew the objectives, and it's very important to know what's going on in, uh, in different areas, in different uh, countries, and particularly with the United States. I think most good ideas come at intersection of different fields. You cannot have ideas in siloed up. It's really great if you can go deep into one idea, but a lot of times the inspiration of multiple ideas come when multiple different fields are interacting, and it's in the intersections of those fields that those ideas evolve. Exposure to organizations like this across a lot of different skills sets, whether it's medical or technology, things like artificial intelligence, really exposes us to, to some potential ways to solve some problems that we would not think of on our own. That's what we all have to strive for, is that more transdisciplinary approach as technology gives us more ways to look into the different risk that we encounter, we're going to find a better opportunity to find the solutions to characterize the risk. What we're seeing at SBMT with these collaborations are repurposing and repositioning technologies. When you get people together and collaborate, it really breaks down walls, it breaks down barriers, and it helps expedite, repurpose, and reposition technologies to get them to the front line faster and at lower cost to make therapeutic impact, change your patients' lives, and lower the cost of care. The thing that attracts us to the Society for Brain Mapping and Therapeutics is that its founder, Babak Kateb, believes that the path forward in research in neuroscience and brain mapping and neurosurgery really is a multidisciplinary scientific problem, and uh, we believe that as well. Babak has some great vision. I don't know how he does it, but he, he brings top people in their field to these meetings and um, he really gives them an opportunity to talk about what they're passionate about. So it really is our obligation to listen and learn. So that, that's what I'm here for and I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity. Whether you are scientists or clinicians or non-scientists or not, I believe that by becoming a, a member, based on your uh, interest, based on a background, we do have many um, different types of opportunity that you can contribute to tackle the treat the neurological disorders. Thank you.